Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. Today we're gonna talk about a shield tunnel construction uh, with a TBM, a tunnel boring machine. So first of all if you like my channel please subscribe and like the YouTube video. So first of all we're gonna talk about the TBM. What is the TBM and how does it work? A TBM is short for a tunnel boring machine you can see this is the picture of a TBM this is the head of the TBM and this is the entire TBM so how does it work this is the head the head eats the rocks the soil and everything then there are uh, the, the soil are transported for, uh, with a conveyor belt to the end and outside the tunnel so whenever we use the head here to enter the soil there are the jacks here the jacks push the head in the soil in order to create a tunnel then after creating the tunnel there will be a lining created here which can be from prefabricated concrete or also from shot creed depending on the soil in the tunnel so we construct the tunnel with this lining the jacks push the lining, push the head against the lining in order to the head to get in the soil, and then we create the second layer of lining. So basically, this is how a TBM works. So this tutorial is a little bit uh, advanced. I'm not gonna draw it. Uh, I've already have it here. I'm just gonna show you how to do each step. And what each step means so let's start first of all the, the tunnel is created by uh, by stages so uh, each lining ring uh, li uh, lining ring is about 1.5 meter long so how does it work when the TBM goes through the soil there's the lining and then there's a grout pressure outside the lining but there's something that the tunnel the a TBM's head is larger than its tail in order for the lining to fit which will create a contraction to the soil so uh, this here comes from the point that the head here should be larger then the lining where we put the lining in order to, li to the lining to fit because it will fit in a circle shape so let's start first of all we're gonna model the geometry and the soil I'm gonna leave a PDF link in the description box if you want to draw it so now we're gonna start up with the structural elements so the purpose of this tutorial is not for you to know how to draw the tunnel as it's easy especially if you've watched all my old tutorials you just do what the PDF say and you can draw it in no time but the purpose of this tutorial is to tell you what you are drawing and how the tunnel boring machine works so we're gonna create first of all a tunnel and create an interface so it's made here structure go to tunnel I'm gonna select a point you put the point here change the point you put circular uh, segments the radius is about four you put uh, also here define left health I'm gonna model only half of the tunnel because it's symmetrical and we can add an interface here with the thickness of the lining I mean with the thickness of 0 0.25 so this is the lining we've created it now we go to properties here we can create a plate then we can create a surface load the surface load here will not be uniform it will be perpendicular with increments as I remember it was minus 100 so also 
minus 20. Okay, so I'm gonna here see it step by step. So first of all, you draw the radius. Uh, then we draw the lining. Then we assign uh, a material, a material to the plate. You can assign it here. So let's choose. Uh, let's see if we create the plate, we can assign a material to our plate here. So after creating the plate, we will add the we will add the contraction of the soil as I said earlier because the head of the tunnel boring machine is larger than stale. There will be a contraction of 0.5 percent of the soil. We should model it in the tunnel and the TBM. There's the grout pressure for the lining. You should put it here. So I'm gonna show you the real uh, tunnel that I've modeled. This one I'll delete it. Okay, so I'm gonna edit it. Here we can see uh, we can see the the lining. We can see the interface. We've created an interface here. We can see also the surface load. Here we've created a interface. Then we've created the tunnel force pressure, and now here we're gonna create the jack force. So as I said, the jack will press against the lining in order for the head to enter the soil. Then we're going to model the trajectory of the tunnel, which is here. Then the sequencing. So now let's go to the sequencing. Here the trajectory, we've modeled it by bands of 1.5 meter. In the sequencing, we're gonna divide it to step. So the first step is the excavation of the tunnel. Uh, and here also, we're gonna put CRF to zero. Here we're gonna add a new step, which is uh, the conical TBM gonna start by putting CRF equal to 0 0.1 then the TBM with quantity which is the conical TBM as I said that the head is larger than the body of the TBM step 1.3 is 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 then we're gonna put the tail of the shield the grouting and the jacking the jack uh, thrusting and the final lining which is uh, the last step. So here we can see it step by step. I'm not gonna model them now just to save some time. But these are the steps here. So this is our tunnel. Generated the mesh. So, uh, my PC is a little bit slow. So, the whole point of this, of this tutorial is just to talk about what is the TVM and how to model the tunnel. In order to draw it, you just uh, can see this PDF and do as the PDF say. So these are the phases here. We can see in the initial phase here we've drawn the TBM and the head and we can see how the TBM go through the soil. 
so this is it for this tutorial thanks for watching